Good evening. Tonight, NBC News has announced radio host Don Imus, whose national morning show is simulcast on our cable network, MSNBC, is being suspended. He will not be seen on MSNBC for two weeks beginning Monday because of comments he made last week. So I watched the basketball game last night between a little bit of Rutgers and Tennessee, the women's uh, final. Yeah, Tennessee won last night, seven championship for Pat Summit I man. They beat Rutgers by thirteen points. That's some rough girls from Rutgers, man. They got tattoos and some hardcore hoes. That's, that's some nappy headed hoes, there. I'm gonna take that down. <laughs> oh, oh, man. man, that's some ooh. And uh <clears throat> the girls from Tennessee, they all look cute, you know, so like kinda like a I don't know. Spike Lee thing. Yeah. yeah. The yeah, Jingaboos versus the Wannabes, yeah, that, was that a, movie that he had? Yeah, it was a tough, uh, do the right thing. I don't yeah, know yeah, if yeah. I wanted to beat Rutgers or not, but they did, right? Yeah, yeah, they did a tough watch. More well, looking Rutgers, they look exactly like the Toronto Raptors. <laughs> <laughs> On uh, Friday, I apologize for some remarks that I made and others made, but particularly ones that I made. Uh, on this program to the women's basketball team at Rutgers University. And it was a straightforward uh, apology that Charles and I wrote. And uh, I didn't uh, offer any, I didn't think it was necessary to offer any excuse. No, I don't think there is now. I didn't think there was any uh, uh, need for me to put into any sort of context what happens on this program because I unwisely just assumed that everybody knows and obviously they don't. And I didn't think it was um, important to uh, talk about what I do with my life, what my wife does with her life, and and who I am, because uh, I thought it was important that I apologize to these young women and to that coach and to their parents and to you for what I said, and so that's what I did. And uh, that was before any newspaper articles. That was the first opportunity um, that I had, and I may discuss that with well, it depends on what Reverend Sharpton asks, but I'm going to appear on Reverend Al Sharpton's radio program this afternoon. It's not, uh, I'm not sure what time. Uh, it's not broadcast in New York, but it's broadcast all over the country. And y'all can hear it. It's Sharpton Talk, S-H-A-R-P-T-O-N, <clears throat> SharptonTalk.net on a computer deal. So um, I apologize on Friday, and then uh, there was a barrage as you perhaps know, newspaper articles over the weekend and uh, some this morning and a number of prominent people calling for me to be fired and so on. And so I have a responsibility this morning to provide uh, some context and proportionality to who I am or what I do. And I don't want anybody to think that this, uh, that I'm trying to weasel out of these remarks or that this is some kind of excuse because there isn't any excuse for what I said. And I don't, and I, and I don't, I'm not inclined to try to weasel out of these comments, which is why uh, when I reached out to Reverend Sharpton and he invited me on his program, I'm grateful that he's allowing me to come talk to him and his audience. So he's still calling for me to be fired, and that's his right, but at least he's going to let me talk to him. So. What is any possible reason you could feel that this kind of statement could be just forgiven and overlooked. I don't think it should be. I don't think it can be. I think it can be forgiven, but I don't think it can be overlooked. Uh, and I, uh, when I originally apologized apologize on Friday, I didn't, I apologize, and I didn't say what everybody says, you know, if I offended somebody, I'm sorry, because I knew I offended somebody. So I apologize, but I didn't want to be portrayed as often an excuse saying what I what we have is a comedy show, which it is. Uh, I'm not a journalist, I'm not Tim Russert, uh, I'm not a politician, I don't have any we don't we don't have an agenda. Our agenda is to try to be funny. And sometimes we go too far and sometimes we go way too far. In this case we do you far. think it's funny to call people uh, uh, nappy headed hoes? No, I don't. So you thought it was funny Wednesday morning? I don't know if I thought it was funny or not, but we got, it was a situation, we're sitting there rapping, see, and I'm saying, I watched the game last night between the Rutgers and Tennessee, and uh, I had one of the sports guys who said, Rutgers is a lot tougher team, and I, so I got on the air, and uh, I said, man, they, they are tough, I said, they got tattoos, and then somebody else said something, and then I said that, so, the, the, 
And at the time I said it, because I'm talking about two African American teams, and at the time I said it, I didn't think, I mean, I don't know, I'm just thinking about a point. I didn't think it was racial. I wasn't even thinking racial. I was thinking like, like a West Side Story deal, like one team's tough and one team's not so tough. But nappy is racial. Yes, sir, I understand that. Uh, 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 say wannabes and jigaboos is racial. I did not say that when that was said. You didn't argue with it either. It was the no. same conversation. Uh, uh, so, but that was presented in the context of the Spike Lee film. Uh, and, and again, this was uh, 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 in that film with light-skinned blacks and dark-skinned blacks. That was what that was about, which is, which is what the analogy I assume was being raised in terms of the two teams with Tennessee and Rutgers. But we're not really thinking about that's obvious. We so we made all of these analogies. analogies. Let me get this right. You call these people uh, uh, nappy-headed hoes, but you wasn't talking racial when you said nappy. Jigaboos and wannabes, but you didn't understand what you were saying. You just, what are you saying? You blanked out? Oh, no, I didn't. I don't, don't know. I didn't. Don't tell me. I didn't, I didn't say I didn't understand what we were saying. I said I wasn't thinking that. Now, if somebody says uh, uh, jigaboos and wannabes, then I, my frame of reference is the Spike Lee film. Right. It's not a, Which I, was I, about light-skinned blacks well, I and that, but, uh, but I'm not thinking that, that it is a, a racial insult that's being, that's being uttered at somebody. At the time, I think it's in the, in the, in the process of this, of this, what we're trying to rap and be funny. I mean, I understand it's not funny. I understand there's no excuse for it. I'm not pretending that there is. So I wish I hadn't have said it. I'm sorry I said it. All right, but, now, now, let me ask you this, and then we can talk about uh, the things that you want to talk about. If you realize that uh, uh, something must be done, why would you then feel that we are out of order to ask that you step aside? I didn't say that. Oh, you don't think we're out of order? No, sir. So did you come to sign your resignation? No, I'm not signing anything. So what do you say? I'm saying you have to you, 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 you want to determine what ought to happen even though you were the one that did the wrong? I didn't say that either. Okay. I say you have the right to say and do whatever you want to do. What I want you to do and everybody else Everybody who's calling me a racist, everybody who's calling me a bigot, everybody who, who says, uh, I don't know anything about him. Uh, so I've heard people say, I don't know what's in his heart, and I don't know, uh, I've never listened to his show, but I want him fired. That's an ill-informed decision. Well, let me yeah. say this. We're going to take a break. We're going to come back and talk to Brian. Okay. Well, uh, I don't know what's in your heart. I want people and to I'm not going to call you a name. I'm not going to call you a bigot. I'm going to say what you said was racist. I'm going to say what you said was abominable. I'm going to say you should be fired for saying it. That's fine. You could be fired and the nicest guy in the world, but you ought to be fired. It's not the old country song. God may forgive you, but I won't. Jesus may love you, but I don't. No, no, we so don't I, don't, I can't get any place with you people, no, 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 no. but I can get something with Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, who is you people, Mr. Uh, you and this woman I'm talking to?